right, y'all. So, um, this, this, what you're seeing here, um, this is just me letting you know what's going on real quick. The GoPro is going to be on charge, but I'm running out to a buddy of mine, Hunter's house, uh, at Kadash. Brother, um, this is kind of the first start of me showing you. So this call came in um, as a, a, a private from a friend of mine named Hunter. Um, he's a person that used to drive for a company that uh, I worked with. What I'm going to do is, is uh, I'm charging the GoPro on the way out there. Uh, it's uh, 12 o'clock Friday night. We're going to go pull a truck out of the mud real quick. All right? But, uh, we'll see y'all shortly. All right, y'all. So we're going down there to help Hunter right now. Uh, sorry about the wind noise. So basically, Hunter, one of the first videos that I uploaded to YouTube that ever really did well, Hunter was at the controls of the truck and I was filming. Uh, this man, he's got some experience and this truck's in his backyard. It's an F-150. He said, we're going to be, he said, we'll be maxing out my gear. So it's going to be interesting. I just figured I would, uh, Give you guys a little heads up. It's gonna be interesting for sure. <laughs> All right, y'all. All right, y'all. So the truck is dead, so we don't have any assistance from it. But so we're winching it out. It's taking every bit of gear that we have. Um, I've got Hunter on the controls of my truck because I trust him, and I would never do this. But Hunter is—he's uh, got a lot of experience. So we're gonna get this guy out of here. You getting it, bro? Hey, you recording? Yes. <laughs> but yeah, I figured that it would be a little bit better for me to. Hey, be careful, cause we got about 30 foot, and then we're gonna have to get another grab. But yeah, so it took every bit of line that we got, but we're getting it. <sighs> I mean, I t it took all of it, man. My, it took the mighty rope. It took um, uh, all my mighty bridles. It took every mighty strap. You know, you get out here and you get it done. And that's exactly what we're doing. This little Hino surely. And this is a, guys, uh, just in case y'all didn't see. You got about 15 foot. Just in case you didn't see. We're getting it. So we're about to have to put it in park and reach down and get another grab, but yeah, come on. That old Hino sure can do the job. It's not about the size of the fight, the dog in the fight. It's about the size of the fight and the dog. And that dog ain't got much fight left, in it? It's a Toyota up there. Even though it's a 91, that's a Toyota. But it sounds like he's getting some fuel now, which it does help. Cause we're gonna see that right there. As soon as that gets close to this, we're gonna he's gonna put it in park and we're gonna choke up. Friday night, y'all. A Kadash, this is exactly what you were asking for, bro. This is typically stuff that I wouldn't be able to get, but I figured we'd light it up. It's okay, bro. I figured we'd light it up and let y'all see it. All right, let me get this choked up and I'll get right back with y'all. All right, so we got the second bite on it. And of course, this time I ran it straight all the way into to where, you know, once we get it to where I can get him up and out, I can uh, level the bed out and I can donkey pull him and I won't have nothing to worry about. Literally, I'll be able to donkey pull him with the strap once he gets up to a certain point. That way, I ain't got to get another bite on the truck. But yeah. <clears throat> going smooth going smooth slow and steady wins the race all right so we got him out <laughs> yeah and just so we're perfectly clear here this is where he come from and by the way you know it's all that but this is where he come from y'all all the way down so shout out to Hunter, bud. Thanks for giving me a call, man. Let me come out and give you a hand and getting a little bit of footage for the uh, channel. And thanks to all you guys that are watching, man. I'll get y'all. Uh, I'll get this thing uploaded by tomorrow, and we can start getting some more on the life of what it's like to be in the shoes of a person who owns a record service. 
guys i appreciate y'all watching and uh yeah we'll get back to the house if i get another one tonight i'll make sure to wake up and y'all can run with me thanks for watching all right y'all we're just going to take 30 quick seconds to talk about today's video sponsor which is mighty you guys already know uh that's all on the only products i use on my channel and for my uh, uh towing company so basically guys um we'll just make this real quick everything that i tow that get, comes that, that i've been towing i've been using it the the mighty gear with of course this is all a mess i'm about to clean it right now and i might even get a video of that because it's this is just crazy no one's truck should never look like this there is no excuse for this and i'm embarrassed by it however uh i have you know i have a a life and a kid and you know obviously other stuff i have to do and so i got to get this straightened up right now so i can make sure that when i get to my next job it'll be cleaned up but um anyways that's not about that so yeah guys uh mighty you can go to mightyproducts.com you guys to get your own gear um it, it is the most affordable gear on the market period um you're not going to find anything more affordable they have recovery gear you guys um they have recovery ropes they sell it all okay I mean everything bridles everything so yeah be sure to pick up your mighty gear and then um also let's just answer a couple of questions real quick that uh at kadash had asked um so you had asked you said asked me you were like uh hey man what are the pros and cons of owning a business well i can tell you that there are a lot of cool things about it and then there are a lot of things that aren't cool. Um, I can tell you that the old company that I worked for before here, I had so many freedoms. Like I pretty much got to dispatch from home. They had rules that you had to go by. Like certain days of the week, you know, if, depending on what out you were, they had first, second, and third, and fourth out. That would determine what time um, you got to go home. Or like if you were fourth out, I had gotten to the point where I could stay at home on my fourth out. And then I was so close to the yard, they let me stay home if I worked late, like, I got to stay home quite often, so I was already used to that. So, I'll say this. The pros, um, there aren't as many as you would think. I, I mean, trying to come up with a good one, I mean, I am, I do have some freedoms uh, to make my own decisions with my own toes and, you know, take all my own uh, pricing and, and um, pr you know, I don't have to worry about dispatch sending me to the wrong place like that's that's all me you know i get all of it i don't have to worry about going to the wrong place it don't happen i don't do goas those don't happen um typically if uh if i get if, if a call comes in and it cancels or something and it's through a contract usually it happens long before i get out there and if it does i have never charged for a goa um i just don't it's not something that uh, i've had to do because i don't um typically mess up with the address and stuff or I don't charge GOAs. I haven't done it for any of my contracts. Um, I just haven't. So anyways, um, but yeah, so that's a plus. You know, you don't have to worry about it. And I'm not talking crap about any of my dispatchers ever. I'm just saying that when you're dispatching your own truck and once you get good at it, which it took me a while because that's another thing too is the uh, adapting. Um, adapting to being able to answer that phone, like being on your Bluetooth and then at the same time, being able to winch cars up and loading and taking calls and you know you while you're already loading one now you you're having to plan out and think of timing and look at mileage completely stop what you're doing and take a call and sometimes they're on the side of the road a lot of times they're on the side of the road sorry y'all and so when they are that means that if you're hauling one and i only got one truck that means there's there's one of the cons you know there's a con right there um i only have one truck so when i started my company i didn't start it with a whole lot of money on and i do love my truck but my truck is old it's in 1991 so it is um been i had to learn it and then also i had to learn dispatching right i had to learn that um so there was a lot to learn taxes i had to learn um filing the uh, llc the article for llc getting the insurance um you know my insurance that's fourteen hundred dollars a month um i could tell you man it's pretty wild you know i haven't had no claims on my insurance knock on wood um not to say that uh, there hasn't been some things happen but i can tell you that um i usually get waivers signed and stuff and, and then also 
um, I have a good customer base. My customers, the one time that something did happen, the customer totally agreed that they had already gotten their vehicle in that situation and that they took responsibility for, you know, everything. So, um, the one thing that ever did happen, you know, it, the customer took responsibility for because they had already gotten their truck in that situation. However, I did feel awful and I did offer to pay, but, um, anyways, long story short, um, you know, um, I get to spend a lot of time with family, right? But I don't make as much money. Um, I miss, I'm in, oh man, I miss police accounts. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I miss doing those cop calls and, and being able to, uh, get up in the middle of the night and go and roll them out. And you guys, man, there's something about that adrenaline rush going to a cop call, man, and, getting out there and getting it done and getting back and putting the car in the yard and getting everything locked up and getting back to the house, crawl in bed and, and two hours, wake up and get another one, go do it again. You know what I mean? I miss that, but I still get a little piece of it every now and then like last night's winch out, you know, that's on this video. Okay. And then also another one would be like uh, Friday and Saturday nights. A lot of like, I get a lot of stuff like uh winch outs and stuff like that. And you know, you can get into some pretty cool stuff, you know, nothing like being on police rotation, but, um, once I get a yard, you guys, so basically, um, where I live at, I live on eight acres, but I rent. Okay. And now also I have enough garage space. Okay. At my home. This is no joke. Look, one, two, three, four, right? And then they, they go three rows back, okay? So I could fit enough cars to have the yard right here and be all locked up, but I would rather do it with the fence. And I don't know that this will be the location that I do that at because of respecting Marvin's privacy and also the people, my neighbor's privacy. Um, these people have paid a good chunk of money to get out here on this beautiful piece of land. And they're not, I, this isn't mine. I don't, I just rent here. And so, um, ideally this shed's not mine. Um, I just, y'all, y'all see the video, uh, dragon's going to come back and get it. Um, and then the, the video is kind of cut out a little bit because my GoPro, it, it kept dying. Uh, no, not dying. It kept the, um, SD card kept fill, um, filling up and I had to keep deleting stuff anyways. Cause there was a lot of videos I'm trying to put on this one and I don't usually do that. But anyways. So, um, if I were to put the fence, y'all, what I was thinking is putting the fence from here, if I did do it here, and come all the way back around, I think that that might be what, uh, where I could do with the yard if I were to. Not saying that I would, just because, like I said, I respect my neighbors and their privacy. But, um, yeah, I just figured I would, uh answer those questions and let you know i mean i can tell you right now hindsight's 2020 looking back i would have kissed my boss's butt um at my old job driving that brand new peterbilt and making all that money brother i would have kissed his butt and i would have never quit that oh man or i never gotten myself in a position to get fired um if i could go back and do it all again i would have uh i'd have been grateful you know but yeah here let's get back on with the video you guys enjoy it all right you guys um i'm gonna try to get as much of this stuff on camera as i can that way y'all can see every most of the job at least right like i'll try to do the least amount of cuts as possible at least all right so here's my shed um i've already i have access here and i'm not worried about getting stuck here my gear my truck's geared plenty low enough to get through here i'm really not worried about getting a flat either this is, but I gotta, I mean, that thing's wide too, son. I gotta spin it, man. That is very wide. Wow, y'all, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try it and then just, hey bud. That's a dragon right there. Hey, I'm rolling on camera if that's okay. So, dude, I think we can do it as long as you follow me, bro. A nice haircut. As long as you follow me, man. And, and we, I mean, first, we're going to have to straighten her out to the nice truck. Beard. 
Thank you. Dude, I yeah. see you in there. <laughs> it's been a minute. So, um, guys, this is Dragon. He uh, also owns a, you do transport, right? Yeah. Transport. And also, he helps a lot of people, too. A little bit of mechanic work. A little bit of everything. So, um, what we'll do, bro, is I'm going to get back here. Mm -hmm. We're going to straighten it out first. And we're just going to do this, man. I mean, I don't think that thing's, there's no way it's too heavy for my truck. It's just okay. a matter of you just make sure you stay behind me and like, not let's not clip nobody when we're making those turns. Yeah. And we'll be okay. The only thing, I stuff in here well, that ain't too bad okay wash and dry it works okay you want it? <laughs> um to be honest man i can i know somebody that does my okay. live the marvin where i live yep. uh he'll have some guys come and pick it up and then so as far as the stuff goes that's in it um when we get it to the place or whatever we'll just lock it up and then you know we'll yeah anymore. not a problem all right cool man well i'm gonna get the truck backed up to it and we'll get it straightened out and start this process dude I, I dug a little deep yeah so what i'm thinking is and I usually typically don't have too many bad problems is I sh ooh something's dead over here no it's ooh something's gnarly right whoo I'm glad I didn't touch it there is something really messed up and I don't know what it is but it's like fish or something or dead or something um so what I'll do is I got some synthetic slings for straightening it out and then we, once we get it like uh yeah once we get it to where uh-uh once we get it to where um i can turn it yeah let me make sure and look at the hey, back make sure we're not too close to that fence uh-uh we're gonna i got i'm gonna show you we're gonna use slings man um i've moved to many of these things yeah. and uh i've never been aboard so and if i do think that we're gonna tear something up we'll stop what we're doing and reprocess all right y'all we're gonna I'm gonna back up around to it. All right, so we got the. I don't have room to really be turning, so we're gonna straighten it out from here. So I'm gonna take this. I was gonna use an axle strap, but I think I might have better luck with this considering that it's bigger and wider. There is something dead over here, like Fisher some type of nasty shrimp or something's messed up but really i just want to see if i can turn it and then if i can and if i can we'll turn it and then yep we're gonna put a snatch block on the old girl real quick and see if we can't get her to turn briars are everywhere man I gotta straighten this truck out. This is, I'm upset about it. It's got me feeling very, um, just unhappy. <laughs> I gotta straighten it out today. All right. All right, you guys, watch your legs, okay? facing up like Caesar says all right we'll see if we can't get it to turn a little bit you guys might want to 
Watch yourselves in case the cable snaps. I'm gonna go on this side where I'm a little safer. Under the truck so if that cable breaks it ain't coming near me i'm gonna go i'm gonna give it some slack i'm gonna go check the back side make sure i'm not turning it into the fence good oh, i'm kind of down hiding you guys from it Check, okay. I gotta get on the other side to where I can see it because I can't see nothing over here. Um, Feels like we're hitting something on the back side. Is it? It would take a lot to do it. Uh, okay. Well, we got her turned. So now, all right, you're in a real bad spot, Bubba. You might want to stand back just a hair. So what I'm going to do is, yeah, you're right. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. Get it a little bit more slack. So now what I can do is I can. What if you raise your hand? Um, well, what's it's gonna? Gonna air a little bit. Right. So that's not. Yeah. What What'll happen then is it's just gonna put forces onto the front of the truck. So what we'll do here is it's alright. We'll still be able to get my strap out, and then it's not. It's nailed, so we can nail it back up when we're done. Um, so what I'm thinking is is. Now when we're pulling, I need to pull this out. What if we put take another strap right here? Uh, hold on one second, bud. I ain't trying to take one. No, yeah, you're good. I, I gotta. Um. Yeah, you just gotta let me do my thing real quick. I'm just gonna pull this strap out because it's already pulling through. I just need to get the strap out. Watch yourself. Good deal. All right. All right, so we got straight backed up to it. Camera died, uh, ran out of card, so I had to make some room. All right, so this time what we're gonna do, instead of going behind the first one, yeah, we're gonna go behind the second Raptor. Gotcha, gotcha. poking through yep and uh, then you're, you're gonna want to pull it all the way until uh you get underneath that one that's right in front of where your waist is right. and i'll keep feeding it to you so it's not hard to pull yep you. tell me when you run out uh i'm i'm that's about all i got all right. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. make sure you're behind the second one okay yep. oh yeah good job Yep. Beautiful. 
Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's gonna work perfect. Okay, good deal. Here you go. I was <laughs> Thanks, Bubba. I ain't worried about it. Good deal. So now we're gonna lay the bed down. Make sure we're not Get it. We're going for a perfect. Oh, you ain't lying. We're gonna go for a perfect straight pull on this. It's all right, if I landed on it here, I'll move it. Watch yourself. Watch your fingers, I don't want to get them. I got you, I got you, hold on. I got you. All right, come on back. All right, that's perfect. We'll be able to grab them from there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is put these all the way up. It's gonna take up every bit of space that actually will hook and then choke. You 17 feet, right? Here's this one. Put that one into that one. Good deal. There. All right, clear the bed. Um, yeah, we're gonna. We'll see what happens. We're gonna um get her up there. I gotta clean this truck I today. I gotta take this on camera, but I love you. I got your back, <laughs> Bubba. It ain't nothing to it. All right, here we go. <sighs> it's pulling that rafter, man. I hate to see that, but here we go. Watch yourself, Bubba. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and do all of our choking that we need to do so we know that we're gonna fit onto the truck all the way. See what that acts like. Dang, bud. It's it's pulling that rafter out. It's pulling it out. This thing is heavy, dude. Um, we're gonna have to figure out a where to grab it. Tell you what. Let's see if we take that angle off of it if it pulls it straight. I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, I mean, it's just one rafter. We'll, you know what I mean? Uh, all right, now I gotta. Oh, slide it. definitely will go up at an angle. <laughs> Hopefully this will straighten it out. If not, I'll have to grab it from somewhere over there and straighten it out that way, because it's got to get straight. I gotta take 
this is a lot of time. We're just gonna pull from this middle one, Bubba. Hey, you think your bed will lift us up? Uh, no. Got pop, baby possums. <laughs> Do is that really? Yeah, baby. Dead? Uh, one shot, the baby shot, but it's gone like a mama here. Damn, son. All right, all right, so. Go here. This is the middle one, yep. Let's see if this straightens her out. Maybe this will straighten her out. It's gonna pull it. It's gonna pull it through. We're gonna have to go back further. Yeah, you're 17 feet from right here to the end. Uh huh. Okay, not the wind. Let me see something. Watch yourself. I mean, we're, getting, we're running out of stuff to grab onto. Um, what if I go underneath and go deeper? Usually, whenever they're... Ah, oh, bro, this is a nightmare, man. Um... all right y'all so i got it loaded um i got him blocking for me because i'm about to pull out kind of interesting going up this hill. No problem dropping into low. Good job. Okay, as long as we can stay out of this power line, we'll be all right. barely squeeze through the gate. Get on this side. Sure? Yep, pause it. You wanna I can't see the back. how big it is y'all <laughs> oh yeah it wasn't no joke yeah that old girl she was all right in size now <laughs> all right let me get this thing off this truck i'll be right back all right y'all 
so we're here to drop it oh, I'm gonna do everything from the other side because it's leaning a little bit more on this side so I've got less overhanging less chances of it coming off on me over here I do need to do my idle Whoo! this is the biggest shit I've ever done um, period I had never done one this big over here make sure I ain't tear nothing up so I just want to set it down and then walk out from underneath it really just digging today. Yeah. Yeah, Will lift's just digging. I need to put the brake off so it rolls.
time to get new tires.